Chapter 12, Osaka Castle. Well, that sounds interesting. What castle are we going to? So, how old would Kiyu have been then? I mean, his he'd be in his teens, right? It'd be the youngest we've ever seen him. だがあの日、親さんは来なかった。俺は親さんに何かあったのかと思い、一人カムロ町へと向かった。ワオ。いや、that is that is young That is wild. His hairstyle has not moved a fucking millimeter. ないだろうな。二人の会話は聞こえなかった。俺は親さんが危ないと思い、体を張って助けようと思った。仲間を呼んで裏口から逃げるんだ。このままだと全滅するのは時間の問題だ。俺を信用しろ。そいつは登場会の人間じゃない。ああ。俺。ヤンケイユ It's his fault. It's Kiyu's fault that her dad is dead. Unfortunate.
罪を償うから俺を殺せだなんて人はねそんな簡単に割り切って生きていけないのよ Okay, that was a really good scene, somewhat undercut by the really fucking weird walk she was doing at the end there. <laughs> so, <laughs> am I crazy, or is that not a really fucking weird animation of her walking off at the end there? It was like she was fucking holding in a shit or something. <laughs> Aside from that, really, really good, powerful scene. But that was just fucking weird at the end, <laughs> the way she waddled off. <laughs> Here you, mate. Umbrella, perhaps? Or even better, indoors? What is this music? Do I smell a copyright fucking claim in my future? Try holding your hand over it. Except don't, because fuck cigarettes. <laughs> I feel like this music is a bit out of place. <laughs> this feels a bit cheesy. Oh. Motherfucker. It didn't shatter? What? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Time to get yourself to a fucking hospital, mate. <sighs> Don't pull it out. Are you trying to pull it out? What are you doing? What are you doing? Never pull it out. Top tip, everyone. If you get stabbed at any point in your life, you leave that shit in and get to a hospital. If you pull it out, you are fucking a billion times more likely to die. The blood's not stopping. Yeah, because you fucking pulled the knife out. Was there poison on the knife? Okay, well that is also very bad. I've got to get to a, 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 a... How have you pronounced that? Before I black out. Head to the place before you collapse. Your health will decrease, running into people will decrease. Yeah, okay. Where exactly is the place we're going to? We're going straight down. I mean... Uh, if, I'm gonna get got if I go there, so that's not gonna work. So I guess maybe I should go across the river and then like around here, but even then I'm gonna get got by this guy. I don't think there's any way of me getting through without getting got, is there? Either this guy sees me or this guy sees me. Is there a way to not go past either of those? Maybe this guy's in the little car park bit, and so if I stick right to the edge here then I'll be fine. Maybe that's the idea. On the plus side, I do have a very big health bar, so hopefully that changes things. I'm not sure if it just like goes down by a percentage of your health, and so it's actually the same whether you have a large or small health bar. Surely, though, okay, you did they not tell you at fucking stabbing school not to pull the knife out or you're going to bleed out? Bro pulls the knife out and then goes, the blood's not stopping. <laughs> like, some kind of fucking first grade Yakuza introduction guy. Like, first day on the job. Never heard of a stabbing before. He's a bit hard to control. He's he's very wobbly, understandably. 
You also can't run, this is max speed. That motherfucker stood right outside, bro. Hello? Can I get past? Thank you. There we go. ゴリュウかいは総天堀のあたりで派手にやったせいやな。俺韓国の連中が勝手に跳ねただけ。ほう。今まで散々奴ら作って大騒ぎしとってやないか。As like, isn't Goto supposed to be the one in charge now? I, I wouldn't have thought he'd be letting himself be subservient to that fucking dickhead. <laughs> I thought the whole point was that he was ruling the roost now. No. For fuck's sake. キリュウ<笑> Okay, that was a sudden loud laugh at the end. Fucking hell, they got Haruka. This is why you shouldn't have kids. <laughs> or adopt them. You know? In case uh, in case the Yakuza kidnap them and then you're forced to infiltrate and retreat. He's the one that rescued her, right? He keeps he keeps checking in. That's good of him. We have your precious child. その Wait, is he just all better from his stab wound now? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Am I am I interpreting this correctly? Did he have a little nap and now he's fully recovered from his fucking deep in the gut stab wound? Is that what we're going with? Okay. Okay. You kill you? Who are you? And how'd you get this number? Those ain't the questions that matter, fool. You want Haruka back? Then listen up. Huh? Where is she? If you've hurt her. No more questions. If you want her back, get down to the Yokobori Golf Center. And come alone. Boy. Hey, 
Who the hell is this? Mm. The Yokobori Golf Center. Fine. I could swear I'd heard that voice before, though. They have Haruka, and they're going to pay. Hell yeah! Let's go fuck their days right up. I can't believe he's just fine. I cannot believe he just got better from his massive stab wound in about five seconds. That is a little bit... Like, even for this series, where people recover from gunshot wounds and stuff, but at least it's usually, like, side characters. And, you know, it's still kind of shit, but... But when it's the main character, and he's getting stabbed deep in the fucking gut, and it's like a massive thing where you're stumbling to get to, sa to safety and shit, and then he's just like, next cutscene, he's absolutely fine. It just feels a bit shit, you know? About time you showed up. I thought you actually cared about the little brat. Oi. Where's Haruka? Did you leave Sengoku's note? <laughs> Heh, you're spewing nonsense. Ain't no matter anyway. You won't be leaving this place alive. Wait, what? You're just gonna try and take me out now, one guy? Do you not know who do you not know who I am, motherfucker? Do you not know who I am? Where's Haruka? Where is Sengoku? <clears throat> All I was told was to kill you. I don't know nothing past that. Huh? Then who hired you? <clears throat> huh, well... Say it, before I make sure you can't. <clears throat> I get all my contracts online. Safer that way, man. I got no names. Damn. Don't turn your back on him, mate. He's still under that contract. <laughs> Fuck me. Kiryu Han, got some news for you. Just wish it was good news. You gotta get down to the river path, lickety split. Meet me there, would you? Uh. Got it. Thanks, Kurokawa. Wait, would it be quicker to go? Oh no, it's like dead center. Fuck off. Really? Okay. Yuhan. Glad you're here, bud. Uh. Yeah. What's this about bad news? If this is about Haruka... Yeah, that. Fred, I can't tell ya. Mm. What? Uh. See, I already got word that you took out the heavy at the golf center. I called him out all the way from Hiroshima on this job. You're a tough nut to crack, pal. <laughs> Didn't figure on you being that tough, though. Nanny. Wait, don't tell me. I got the distinct feeling I shouldn't let you out of my sights. You got you got the look of a man worth a whole mountain of cash, Kiryuhan. Figured it was only a matter of time till I could find a way to collect on it. Well, today's the day, boss. No hard feelings, I hope. Huh? That was your doing? How much have you known this whole time? Mm. Heh. Me and my big mouth. Let's cut the chit-chat, shall we? Sorry, Kiryuhan. You've been good to me, bud. But I got money on the mind, you know? <laughs> well, let's get you strung up and put on the spit. My boys here won't go down as easy as that clown from Hiroshima. 
Your boys look like fucking gimps. Bye! Into the fucking soup with you. Bye! Why? Why? Fucking sleeping with the fishies, mate. Sleeping with the fucking fishies. Why? Have a nice drink. Oi. Where is Haruka? And keep it short. And if I don't like your answer, the river's right here, which I already threw you into. <laughs> it was Isaki. He hired me. Said if I sunk your ass, he'd give me 10 mil. I've always been a sucker for cash. And sides, to do business in this town, you gotta stay on Sengoku's good side. Uh? Where is he? He's hiding out in the acupuncture clinic. Oh my god, the fucking acupuncture clinic at long last. We're going to find out where this fucking place is. Where's the acupuncture clinic? It is down on the corner here. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, so I guess fastest way would be down here, down, down, I guess. Man, we have been trying to find this acupuncture clinic for a while. seen your face in here before. What can I do you for? Uh. I found out there's an acupuncture clinic here, so I figured I should get myself checked up. <laughs> Wait, is this not it? Let me explain how it works. Yeah, I know what acupuncture is. Receiving acupuncture will allow you to tap into your hidden potential and learn new skills. There are requirements that must be met. Mm. Right, okay. This is clearly not what we were here for, but maybe this mm. is... I guess this is how you get the skills, but it's not part of the main quest. <laughs> uh. Take your shirt off. Sure. Oh. What do you think? It was amazing. I feel light as a feather. The needles definitely had an effect. I'm getting images of battle from within me. Kamaki Breakfall Recovery. Recover in the middle of getting knocked down. I like this. I'll be back. I'll back this place from now on. <laughs> I'm happy you say that, but it won't have much effect if you come too often, you know. What do you mean? As I said in the beginning, my needles activate your muscle memory and sublimate the experience into your body. So in other words, if you've got no experience to sublimate, it's no good. Right. I mean, I've got a bunch of XP, so... Hopefully we can just go again. Ask for treatment. It just, it just keeps on working then? Uh. Oh. Uh, breakfall Strike. Demonstrate true mastery of the Kamaki Breakfall. Attack immediately upon being knocked down. <laughs> Great. I know you came all the way here, but given your treatment now won't have any effect, so looks like you need more experience. In a place where strong opponents gather, beating a master of ancient martial arts might get you that experience. Strong opponents gather. Is that going to be the fucking Colosseum place? It's probably telling me to go do the Colosseum. Well...
Oh, wait. It's down here, I see. Oi. I'm not gonna do the Colosseum, so I guess I'm never getting Tiger Drop. <laughs> oh, well. Sure. How did... <laughs> I just let him run past me? As if Kiryu lets that guy run past him. Hold it. Ah, oh, shit, I ran into a dead end in a city I live in and would definitely know it was a dead end. Oh my god, right into the bonnet. Fuck me. Uh, you're out of places to run, so talk. Where is Sengoku? Where's Haruka? If I tell you, I may as well be signing my own death warrant. Uh, then would you prefer to get a running start, or let me sign it for you right now? You wouldn't. Hold on, hold on a sec. Yes, hello? Huh? What? Then what was I even... But isn't that... Yes. Yes, sir. I get it. <sighs> Sengoku Han says I should bring you to him. If I go, I'm dead for sure. Go by your damn self. Where? Osaka Castle. You'll see when you get there. Nani? Nani? Osaka Castle? <sighs> uh, hey, I know it's a little late to ask, but... I'm on borrowed time here. You wouldn't want to protect me, would you? Yeah. Yeah, right. Try praying to Billiken over there. It's over. I'm finished. Yeah, go and fucking die, mate. Go and fucking die. Take a cab to Osaka Castle. Well, uh, you see, the thing about that is we definitely don't have time to do that in this part. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yes, we are going to do something else. Let's go beat up this guy, I guess. Uh, yep, I have the strength of a dragon, mate. True, that does sound interesting. Punch felt like I was getting hit by a bag of bricks. Shit, no wonder you're the talk of the town. I might have lost, but I still had a damn good time. This is my way of saying thanks, so take it. Uh, sure. I don't know, man. What do I even get rid of at this point? Fucking random ass metal bat? Why not? Um, okay. Uh, let's go do the sub story on the bridge to end off, then, shall we? Because the Osaka Castle bit might be like a fucking hour. You never know. When you when you go into the bits where it's like travel by camp to this place, it could be like a ten minute thing. Or it could be an hour-long thing, and you have no way of knowing until you go into it, so... I can't risk it at this point. I guess this is the end. Hmm? Hey, is something wrong? Yeah. No, it's nothing. Don't go troubling yourself over me. Tell me what's going on. Sometimes that helps. I'm just tired. Tired of being who I am. Tired of this life. I screwed up real bad, and it cost my job. And as soon as the cash started drying up, the wife walked out on me. Thought about going after her, but I was too much of a coward. Hell, I don't even got the courage to end my pain. If only I could turn my life around. 
Or even just find a shred of confidence. Got any ideas? Pitiful, right? Here I am asking some guy on the street if he can't turn my life around. You can't get more pathetic than this. Hmm. Something that would help him change his life. Maybe that ridiculous self-help book I got from Counselor Seiki would be just what he needs. Not like I would ever read it again anyway. Huh? Huh? What's this? Apparently one of the most popular books in the country. I don't know if it'll help, but it might be worth giving it a read. Oh! Hey, I've heard of this guy. This is Counselor Seiki's new book. I've been looking for a copy for weeks. Hey, um, I'm Yoshida. You are? Kiryu. I can't thank you enough, Kiryu-san. You were the only guy who stopped to talk to me, and now this. My new life starts today. I gotta get home and crack this baby open. Glad I found someone who can appreciate that book more than I do. Okay. Uh... Is this new? I think that's new, right? That must be where we go next. Uh, sure. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, I'm so- man, I just got fucking brain fucked. I thought I was on the other side of the river. <laughs> I thought I was on the other side of the river. I was trying to run down the river that way. What the fuck? My brain just went- I was like, where's the stairs gone? Aren't the stairs right here? Don't! What? I'm nowhere near them! Fuck right off. One punch! One punch. I told you to back off. Mm -hmm. Oh, how I enjoy these cute little outbursts. Your every breath sets my heart aflame, you know. I said no. Come on, sweetie. You know money is no object. Just give me a number and it's yours. A million? Five mil? Or would a hundred mil do it? I wouldn't go with you for all the cash in the world. Now get your stinking breath out of my face already. Young lady, do you know who you're addressing? You should be honoured. Oh, I know damn well who he is. A sex-starved politician who thinks his fame buys him action. <coughs> Mika. <coughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, this is the wife that walked out on this guy? I did not expect this to actually be connected. Okay. It's you! Mm -hmm. mm. Keep walking, cue ball. Can't you see the lady and I are trying to have a conversation here? That's... That's... Spit it out, you dunce. Otherwise, move along. That's my wife, damn it. Yeah. Huh? What's gotten into you? Don't worry, Mika. I won't let this old fogey lay a finger on you. When did you get so confident? It's like you're a different man. Ooh. It seems our playtime is a little, little snag. Mita. Sir. Teach this miscreant what happens when you cross me. Very well, sir. It would be my pleasure. Wait. Bruh. Kiyu, you didn't step in to block that? How exquisite. There's more where that came from. What happened to the tough guy act? Damn it. Can't let this continue. Hey, if you want someone to play tough guy, I'll oblige. You're the guy from the bridge. So our friend has a knight in shining armor, eh? Hmm, you seem familiar somehow. But no matter, I'll take you both down. <laughs> God damn. Easy, mate. Easy. Forgive me. Oh, forgive me, Counselor. It seems I was outmatched. You okay, honey? Mika, I did it. Oh, come on. You only won because this guy was fighting. I gotta give you credit, though. You stood your ground for me, and I admit that felt good. That old perv didn't do anything to you, did he? No, I'm fine. 
Hey, ain't that Seiki, the big one government author? Typical politician, just another creepy slime ball. Haha, <laughs> how truly touching. Here, I trust this will be enough to ensure you don't breathe a word of this to anyone. Huh? Isn't that a bribe? Oh no, no, no! I simply have no need for it. After all, as I say in my national best-selling book, there's more to life than money. <laughs> Come along, Mita. We'll be going now. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming along when you did. Guy started hounding me in a bar, then wouldn't take no for an answer. I gotta wonder, though. Where'd all that courage come from? I ain't never seen you so fired up. Well, I was drowning in my sorrows over on Iwau Bridge when this guy here came and made some time for me. I admit, I was almost at the end of my rope, but he cheered me up by giving me a copy of that bestseller, You Unleashed. I ran home, cracked it open. And it turns out, the whole thing's chock full of cliche bullshit. It'd be better off as toilet paper. <laughs> I was practically laughing my ass off by the end. That trash ain't bestseller quality at all, I tell you what. Got me thinking though. There ain't no rhyme or reason to life. You just gotta roll with the punches. And if that waste of ink could succeed, then why couldn't I? I felt my confidence come flooding right back. Well, get a load of this. That guy who was creeping on me, he's the one who wrote that book. Wait, really? You gotta be joking. I ain't. That pervy old bag of bones was Councillor Seiki. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? That's a riot. It's a crazy world we live in. Only makes me feel more confident knowing that windbag struck it rich on that BS. I owe you big time, man. This never would have happened if you hadn't stopped to talk to me. Say, would you let me treat you to dinner? I'll pay for it with the stack of cash the old lecher gave me. Sorry, I've got some business to take care of. But you enjoy a nice dinner with your wife. Good idea. Well, here. I won't be needing this. You take it. <laughs> he brought a fucking gun? Oh, model gun, okay. Wait, is that a stun symbol? Can I fucking shock the guy down the road with that? Potentially. Thank you again. Bye now. You two watch each other's backs, okay? Clappers. All right, we might be able to uh, do the guy down on the river with that. However, that will be at some other time because next part, well, actually, I was going to say next part we'll be doing the main quest. However, this is the last part I'm recording for today, which means it's probably time for me to do some more off-screen uh, uh, cabaret clubbing seeing as we are finishing in a nice position for it. So, so, I guess I will do some off-screen cabaret clubbing, and then I guess next part will be another championship. And then the part after that, we'll be going to the castle. That sounds like a plan to me. So, we will leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Yakuza Kiwami 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.